Hey, good afternoon, whoever's out there. I'm getting ready to work on a pansy planner steak. Should be a good time. <clears throat> Turn down like cheated myself. Hi, peanut butter. Are you being a creepy lurker during your meetings? <clears throat> you know that I'm not. Hi, Stain and Striking. How are you? What are you up to today? How is life then? This petal's pretty close. I cut that one pretty close. Hope it works out. Not feeling great about it. Hi, Sam. How are you? How was work? <clears throat> oh, God. People in the office are probably upset today because it's the return after a holiday weekend. I don't even think about holidays as being like holidays anymore because I don't consider myself to have a job anymore. But man, do I remember those days. They were not good. It was trouble. You know that I'm no good. Okay, I hope I don't have to refuse a whole other petal. I think we can make it work. Stained and striking says, going to try and get into the studio a bit and do some glass. Yay. I agree. That is a yay statement. Are you working on Halloween stuff? I feel like I've been seeing a lot of that lately. Little carpet burns. It's the worst. You can stuck the knife in first. Sam says today is an especially good morning because I turned in my two weeks notice and I'm so very close to escaping this hellhole in Mon Monique's vortex of hell. Wait, what? Well, what? You're quitting? First of all, I thought you really liked your job. I'm kind of surprised. You are, I feel like you always talk kind of highly of it. I mean, congrats, though. Do you have something else lined up? What's the plan? You going to go full time with glass? Hi, mom. Thank you for always being here. My mom and the Lord always by my side. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. And also, I thought um, things with Monique like weren't that bad anymore. <laughs> I feel like you're doing a 180 here, Sam. I feel like I don't even know you anymore. Who are you? I feel like this song, oh, there's some songs that always play when I'm streaming, and this is like one of them. And he goes by the name of Justin. Senorita, I feel for you. You deal with things if you don't have to. Such a beautiful girl walking down the street. Yeah, brown eyes. Pizza's crown. Where is it now? 
single leader. Is Justin still making new music? What's Justin up to these days? Anyone know? Anyone talk to him regularly? My mom says, I'm home, so there might be a call or two for Pictionary. I always expect those. I think Sam B's missed the last couple of Pictionary rounds. People are starting to catch up, so I'm sure Sam will appreciate it. Sane and Striking says, I do have a Halloween pattern I want to do, but I don't have the right color glass, and I just can't bring myself to pay the shipping on one or two pieces of glass, so I'll wait to see if my local shop has it tomorrow. Uh, I don't think I've ever... I also can't do that. Like, I don't think I've ever ordered glass only, like, one or two sheets at a time. Usually, in that case, I've been in your situation before, and instead of, like, going to a glass shop in person, because, like, ugh, having to go interact with people no not my thing or waiting until like i have a bunch of glasses i need i'll just like get a whole bunch of glass that i don't need and then that one sheet i do is it a good business strategy is it a winning business strategy from a financial perspective no but is it does it make me happy <laughs> does it make sure that i that it guarantees that I always have like every color glass in stock yeah so well I hope it has it when you go so you can start on it I feel like um I feel like it's good to have your Halloween stuff done by like October 1st because like people are probably trying to buy it between like now and then right like I doubt a lot of people are buying Halloween decor on like October 15th. I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy, but that doesn't seem like the time frame you'd be buying your decorations. Sam says, oh no, I just tolerate it. I like being in my corner and doing what I want and being able to listen to books all day and watch your pixie stream. This place stresses me out and they keep piling work on my plate. Things with Monique have been deteriorating for a while, but they went completely rotten last Thursday evening when shit went down. When she informed me that she doesn't want to hang out with me, doesn't like the way I mistreat her at work, and said she re regrets telling me about the job. So she's the one that got you the job. She was working there f first. And then she was like, hey, girl, I got this bangerang job. You should come work with me. And then you swooped in, and started working with her, and started beating the shit out of her at work, mistreating her. Come on, Sam. I thought you had your anger under control. That's not cool. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That's, that's insane. What do you do to her that's so bad at work? You bully. And so I decided to reach out to the bookstore to see if I could go back, and it's looking good. If it happens to not work out, I'm not stressed. I'll glass full time till I find a good job. Wow. <laughs> that's, like, so brave. I mean, I don't doubt it'll work out, but um, I mean, good on you for leaving a job you don't like where you're not treated well without like a full path forward. I, I think that's probably a good move. Well, I oh, Maltese, thank you for resubbing. How are you today? How are you and Riley? I think, I think a move like that Sam is good if you are like a capable person with like a good skill set, which I'm pretty sure you are. That's like a smart move. And I think more people in that scenario should shouldn't be afraid of like making a leap like that. But I hesitate to say it's always a good move, because if you don't have a good skill set and maybe you're not capable of like quickly finding another job, then that's not the right move, you know. But for you, I'm happy for you. You got to put yourself first. At my show. Waking. Say it ain't so. Are you going to be sad to leave like other people? Like, are you going to miss any of it? I'm sure there's some nice people besides evil Monique that you enjoy working with. Na 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 na. Melty says, 
eight seasons and a movie. <laughs> Wait, what? We're tired. We moved her studio from the garage into a side room in the house. <gasps> You're letting Riley live in the house with you? Maltese, what a kind and generous partner you are. Does her room even get like electricity and like heating and air conditioning? I hope it does. Na 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 na. Good for her. Isn't she um going to Italy or something soon? Wasn't that happening soon? Her master's class thing? Or she's gonna go learn from the Italian masters? That's so exciting. The proper studio space, I mean. I will not go. Carry me home. I'll be your fill. I'll be your. Is it fill or thrill? I think it's thrill. Maltese says she had wanted to avoid glass shards in the house due to four puppies. Smart. But the garage was just too hot in Texas summers, even with an AC unit, which broke, so you moved her in. And Italy is in November. Ah, nice, nice, nice. Very nice. Well, is it like, hopefully it's like hardwood in that room, because she can just like sweep it regularly. Like, I don't really, I was a little concerned about that and like lead bits on the ground. But we have Roomba that runs like every day, which would be equivalent to like just sweeping, I guess, if you don't have a Roomba. And we've never had any issues with like the dogs eating stuff or getting like glass in their paws, so. I think as long as you're like a semi-clean person, it shouldn't be an issue. It's on the roof again. Loud and clear, gonna jump, gonna jump, gonna die this year. Apartment moved in. Sam says, Monique says I can't separate work and friends. That is so weird for one thing, like that she has this obsession with like, I don't know, being two different people at work and like outside of work. That's very strange to me. But she says I can't separate them, and I have no idea what she means by mistreat her. I purposefully treat her how she treats me, because I was trying to follow her separate work and friends lead. But whatever, I don't have to take her shit anymore. I'll be sad to leave Sean. He's kind of like a work dad and has always been nice and kind to me. Other than that, I'm the third person to leave in a three-month span, so everyone be leaving up in here. Damn, that's a good sign that, like, or not a good, it's a sign that, like, it's not a good place to work if they have that much turnover. Well, stay in touch with Sean. Connect with him on LinkedIn or whatever. And fuck everyone else. Bird and then he's... Your threats ring loud and clear. Gonna jump, gonna jump, gonna die this year. Did I ever tell you guys about... Sorry, it relates to this song so hard. It basically is this song. I broke up with a guy once and in college, and um, he went up to the roof of his frat house and threatened to jump. And like there were like 30 police cars that came, and it was like a whole big thing. And I watched the whole ordeal from my dorm room a few streets away in my skyscraper dorm room. Jesus. That was weird. He wasn't well. 
Hi, Spike. It has been a while. What have you been up to? How's it going? Maltisa's tile floor. Good, good, good. And we've got a large rug in the work area to help catch Seth. We're going to get a baby gate to keep the pets away, too. They won't jump it. Ours would jump. Well, one of ours would jump that in a second. And the cat. Do you guys have cats? I don't remember. Or at least you have a plan. Sane and Striking says, solder question. Is there a difference in brand? I would think lead is lead, tin is tin, etc. Because the Delphi sells a roll of Canfield 6040 for 27, and Hobby Lobby sells a different brand for like 18. Sup with that. That's so relevant because I just bought six pounds of Canfield 6040 from Delphi literally yesterday. Twas expensive. Delphi also has like really high shipping, like higher shipping than like any other glass website. But they also had these solder mats that I really, they were the only like place that had them and I really wanted them. So I had, normally I wouldn't buy from Delphi because of the shipping for just solder, but I had to. Um, let me see if I have any other brands. I don't think I've ever tried another brand of solder other than Canfield. I have this lead-free solder from DGS that I've never tried, so I can't comment on that. <laughs> um, but I will say I would be very suspicious of anything from Hobby Lobby because that place, have you ever gotten glass from that? The glass is not real. I swear they cut their glass with plastic. I'm trying to find, I think I actually threw out all my Hobby Lobby glass because it was so sketchy and shitty. I'm trying to see if I have a piece to sh show you. Are you Hobby Lobby? No. No, I think I threw it all out. But like, I don't know if you've gotten their glass and like compared it to like Bullseye or Spectrum or something, but their glass is like, it feels wrong. It has a weird coating on it. It just feels wrong. So, sorry, I didn't really answer your question. I don't have a good answer other than Hobby Lobby products be suspicious hell when it comes to glass. I don't know. You try different solders and you let me know. I'm curious too. Altisa should be all right. We just want to avoid glass and paws. Get your doggies little shoes. How about that? Did you think about that? Maybe they need little slippers. Have you guys ever seen the It's Always Sunny episode with the, the kitty paws or whatever that Charlie makes? Is your cat always stomping around your house? Melty says Hobby Lobby may not have caught up in pricing if they buy in bulk for the entire store. Could be, could be. Sambi says, I have some savings and I'm looking forward to some downtime to unwind from the stress and focus on my work for a bit. I'm not far along enough in my glass store. I need to feel comfortable going full time with it yet. But a few weeks will let me jump ahead. Good for you. You take the time and you relax and be creative and become a happier, more well-rounded person, Sam. Melty says, the puppies respect the gates, but the kitties are 13 and 16. Oh, they're old kitties. They're too old and lazy for gate jumping. Sounds like a good, good plan. When Peanut Butter and I first got our cats, we got two of them because I thought they would be friends. And we were in a little apartment in Washington, D.C. And they, are, the one we have now, Jiggity, would try to murder the other one at every chance he could get. Like, he'd go up on high objects and, like, aerial attack down. And, like, there was a lot of blood, a lot of poop. And as a solution, we got a baby gate and put it between two of the rooms and he would hop it. So then we like taped a bunch of cardboard on top of it to make it like nine feet tall. Or I don't know how tall our ceilings were, but like basically up to the ceiling. And he clawed through it. He's vicious. So now that other cat lives with my parents. We had to give her away, but to a good home. Melty says Hobby Lobby itself is sketchy. I like Hobby Lobby, but I feel like it's really good if you're like not like a pro at a craft like maybe if you're just like an amateur just like trying to dip your toes into it because I remember when I first realized that they had stained glass stuff I was like oh yay and I like bought a bunch of it 
and it it was fine at first but then once I started like getting good at my craft that's when I realized like wait a minute <laughs> there's something sketch about all this so I feel like it might be that way for maybe all the crafts I don't know which like there's nothing wrong with slightly suspicious things for crafts that you're not like super serious about like if you're not selling it or whatever then like do the does the quality matter that much I would say no it is just also nice that they have everything in one place like if you're someone like me who's into a bunch of different crafts it's nice to be able to go to one store and get a whole bunch of different supplies I also have fun just walking around that store and like thinking about new hobbies that I would like to get into. Like there are hobbies out there I didn't even know existed and I walk around that store and I'm, I just want to do them all. Sane and Striking says, yeah, Hobby Lobby Glass is poo-poo. That's why I'm leery of this daughter. It's probably worth a try if it's truly that much cheaper and not just like Malty says, just cheaper for the time being. I mean, I don't knock anything until I try it. This pedal's fine. I thought it was going to be... Um, too close to a comfort, but it's actually perfect. I feel like on stream I've been pushing myself to like work faster because I'm I'm always like worried about not being like entertaining or whatever and I'm trying to make a conscious effort to not to kind of not give a shit if you guys are entertained <laughs> I mean by my glasswork hopefully I'll continue to entertain you with my words and my charming personality and hopefully my glasswork is still entertaining if it goes super slow I've just been feeling myself I don't know do better quality pieces off stream and I think it's because I'm too concerned with like oh are they am I going too slow so it's not that I don't care about your entertainment I just care about the quality of my products more and I shouldn't be sacrificing that for streaming da, 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 da. <laughs> Felt so wicked. It's when I read I love to die. And so he goes. Where's your silver line? Now I'm gold. Uh, try Sarah Hataps. First time chat. Hello, how are you? I just started learning and Hobby Lobby is the only place in my area that sells glass and it's open when I'm not at work. I bought some of their glass because I didn't know any better, but then a friend gave me some of her scrap spectrum to practice with and there is a clear difference. I won't be buying any more glass from Hobby Lobby and we'll just have to figure out a way to get to the glass shop. I'm One, I'm impressed that you picked up on that so quickly and happy for you. Like I don't, as a beginner, when I had a bunch of different glasses, it took me a while to realize that Hobby Lobby was, there was something up with it. I didn't notice it immediately. So good on you for uh, noticing. Also, can you not just get stuff shipped? Why don't you just order glass online? And thank you for being here, by the way. I always, I always get excited when there's a first time viewer. Every day, I'm from overseas. 
Um, I should have pinned this middle piece down. Every day. Malti says, make the yearly pilgrimage to the bullseye showroom. Is that's in, I always forget where these glass places are. Is it in California or is it in like Oregon, Oregon? Is it Oregon or Oregon? Oregon. I say Oregon. Dude, if I, I don't think I can ever allow myself to go to like an actual like Spectrum or Bullseye like manufacturer showroom area because I would literally be broke. I would spend all my money. Thank God I don't live near one of those things. That would be such a problem for me. To the rescue. Extra. For my next trick. Uh, Triceratops says, oh, oh, I'm normally lurking. I've been following for about a month now. Oh, thank you. I appreciate all my followers, whether they lurk or participate. As an introvert myself, I totally understand the lurkage. Day and night. We're going to bring it in a little bit more. Melty says bullseye of showrooms in California, Portland, and Santa Fe. Ah, I was, I was, I got two out of three. I didn't know there was a Santa Fe one. Hang out. Sorry, it's a workout song. It's removed. We'll get rid of them all eventually. Sambi says, or again. Oregon is, oh, or, Oregon, Oregon, Oregon. That one sounds weird, Oregon. Oregon. I think we say it the same way. Triceratops says, Triceratops, Serha. I'm trying to understand your handle. <laughs> is it a pun that's going over my head? Is your name Sarah, but spelled weird? S A R H A. Is, that's not, is that normal Sarah spelling? I'm just learning all the differences and I want to touch the glass before committing to online ordering. Once I know the glass types, I'll probably order online. That's very smart. I didn't even think about, because I, I feel like I have such a good understanding of the different types of glass. I never think about that. But um, that's actually a really good point. As a beginner, you should definitely like be able to tell the differences and know like which types of glass are better for which projects. Good on you. Melty says, bullseye is neat. Spend 1200 on glass and get 50% off. Do they do that in their showrooms? I think I did know that actually. I think I've seen like maybe Booze Tooth posts about that. I feel like she's always in a bullseye showroom. Makes me very upset. Sambi says, I love going to glass shops in person because the pics can be misleading. Oh my God. Glass can be hard to photograph. Tell me about it. I'm never, I'm never really mad because like no matter what glass I get, I think it's beautiful and I'll find a purpose for it eventually. 
But I can't tell you how many times I've ordered a piece of glass online thinking it's going to look one way and it looks completely different when I get it in person. Again, I'm never like really upset about it, but I'm just more like shocked of like, who, t who approved this photo? <laughs> Sam says, but I'm lucky enough to live nearish to a few good ones. Hi, Kelly. Kelly says, hello from Minnesota. It's a beautiful day there. Very nice. We're getting into the fall weather. You're probably experiencing some fall out there, up there. We haven't really gotten any difference in weather here in Florida yet. Still like a sweltering 80 to 90 every day, which I love, not complaining. Sambi says, plus I love, <gasps> hi, Mr. Milkshakes. I enjoy shopping in the scrap bins for hidden treasures. Come on. I don't like scrap bins because I like big pieces of glass. Come on. Come on. But I get how it would be fun. Callie and Santa Fe are near me. Where is Callie? Do you guys know? Triceratops says I'm on the east. What is this? Sorry, Incubus. Um, I'm on the east coast, so those aren't close to me, says Triceratops. Get up here. The people want to see you. Get up here. There he is. There he is. There's my milkshake man. Oh, yes. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. What is your day like today? What's on your agenda? Thank you for stopping by. Okay, you're going to stay, I guess. It's Sarah. <laughs> well, Sarah Ha was a nickname given to me a long time ago. Makes sense. I see. Thank you for elaborating. Maltese is telling Sambi where all the good glass stores are. Also helping out Sarah. Mr. Milkshake is, is getting some fan attention. Kelly says, no, it's about 76 and perfect. Ah, I know people think it's always cold here, but it isn't. Yeah, it's just cold nine months out of the year. There's three that are just fine, right, Mr. Milkshakes? Mr. Milkshake says, I'm never going to move to Minnesota, Mom. <laughs> I would be too chilly. I know. We're never going to take you there. Don't worry. Don't worry. You'll never have to endure snow. Mr. Milkshakes will never see snow. Ever. He's a summer doggy. Oh, oh, oh. Poppy, Mr. Milkshakes is so smiley. He's such a happy little creature. And he should be because he has the perfect life. He has a doggy friend to play with. He has two parents that give them give him all their attention. He has about a hundred toys. He has a cat that sometimes claws him in the face if he gets too close. Um Unlimited food. That's about, that's, that's all you need for the perfect doggy life, really. I got him little puzzle toys, because so, I, sometimes I feel bad that I'm ignoring him for a lot of the day while I'm in here doing glass. So I got him little, like, puzzle toys where you're supposed to be able to, like, open parts of it or, like, pull parts of it and, like, get treats out. And you can do, like, half of it. Real close. Because he's so smart. Let's go. SW Art Glass has a little section of $5 sheets that are about 6 by 6 and I find some good shit, Sam B says. And Kelly says milkshakes might love playing in this snow. No, he probably would. Just his parents refused to go to the snow. One of his parents, rather. This is my life. 
Kelly, are you gonna tell me you're gonna retire somewhere warm? Tell me when you and Todd are like 85 that you're not gonna be shoveling out a driveway in the winter. That's what I don't get about like people living in cold places. It's like we all agree that the warm places are like where you wanna be because that's where everyone goes to retire. So I really don't think there's like a legitimate argument here to or debate to be like, which is better, like warm places or cold places? It's like, no, we all agree the warm ones are where you want to be, barring your like, you know, job or whatever responsibilities keep you tied to the cold areas, which you don't have once you retire. Da -da 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 -da. Kelly says, hmm, I'm not sure. It might depend on where our kids end up. We already hire someone. Oh, oh, I didn't know you were so bougie that you were able to hire someone to plow your driveway. Excuse me. I'm just a peasant. I'm just a peasant. <laughs> I'm just kidding. True, I guess. I guess if you can pay someone to do those kinds of things. It, it makes a difference. Don't get me wrong. Not on my time. Bum, 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 bum. Sprouted plate. Hello. Oh, peanut butter just slammed the door on me. He says I'm loud in here. He says I yell when I stream. I don't think I'm yelling. Do you guys feel like I'm yelling? I'm just excited and passionate. How is how is life for you, Sprouted Plate? Are you doing anything fun today? Are you glassing? Bum, 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 bum. Kelly says it's like 20 bucks each time it snows more than two inches. Is it some little neighborhood kid? I hope it is. Well, I guess if you pay someone, it's probably not. It's probably like a legitimate professional. Be cuter if it was a little high schooler. Sam says, if my driveway wasn't gravel, I would hire someone to plow my driveway. I hate shoveling. That would suck on a gravel driveway. I feel like shoveling would be extra shitty because, like, wouldn't you always, like, shovel away part of your driveway every time you did it? I've never shoveled a driveway. These hands, these are an artist's hands. They're not meant for manual labor. You're the teacher, I'm the student. Kelly says, so for a season, that might only be a hundred bucks and it's well worth it. Dude, shoveling snow, from what I understand, is no joke especially when you're older, like you got to actually worry about like having a heart attack or like throwing your back out and being like totally incapacitated. I agree. That would be not calling you and Todd old Kelly. You guys are little spring chickens. But for those other older people, it could be like a legitimate concern.
Sam says, my goal is to pour a concrete driveway soon so I can reap the benefits and be like Kelly. I don't know how much a concrete driveway is, but I know like the, like the, the paver driveways, like everyone in our neighborhood has a really nice like paver driveway. And those things are expensive. Triceratops says, I will never be able to move out of the same town as my parents because my dad owns a snow plowing landscaping company and I'm incredibly spoiled and have not had to do any shoveling or grass cutting. Well, don't say never. You just got to wait until you're rich enough to buy your own landscaping snow plow company. How blessed, how blessed you are. I was just going to say, what does your dad do like the other half of the year? But I get maybe that's why it's a, a landscaping slash snow plowing business. Because like if, if your company only did snow plowing, you'd have to make so much money in the winter in order to support yourself in the summer, right? Like just snow plowing companies do anything else when it's not snowing. I guess maybe you could rent out a plow for like dirt removal. I don't know. Triceratops says, of course, he didn't start it until he, he didn't start until I was 19 and I'm the oldest kid. So I did it all growing up. I told him since I didn't get paid as a kid, he can take care of mine now. I think that's fair. It's totally fair. They say chores like that build character. You seem like you have a lot of character, Sarah. So I'm going to say it was it was worth it. First time chat from Crown Nest Creations. Hey, how's it going? Hi, how are you? Thank you for being here. It is going just great because I'm working on glass and I am never happier than when I'm working on glass. So it's going just great over here. How's it going with you? Cordially invited. Kelly says, no, he has a business but lives around the corner and usually brings his snowblower and two of his kids to shovel, which is cute because they usually just end up playing in the snow. That's a, I'm assuming they're young. I feel like if they were teenagers, the dad would be like, not okay with that. He'd be like, God damn it, help me out. Hey. Sam says, I just shovel down enough so I can drive over the snow. I always start my back when I shovel. We had a big storm last winter and the snow was up to my hips. It was torture. Have you considered a flamethrower, Sam? I believe Elon Musk sells one called Not a Flamethrower. And um, it seems like that could be a good product for you to invest in. Slow down. Kelly says, most do landscaping and snow plowing. That's the, the usual combo. So they have income year round. Smart people. Crow's, crow's nest. I think I said crown before. Crow's nest creations says, good here. Thank you. Is anyone in here like super pumped about fantasy football season <laughs> or football season in general? I've noticed that my, the conversations I overhear in the gym now are nothing but football. Oh my God. And fantasy teams are like, oh bro, did you get Jerry Mahone on your team? Oh, lucky. Oh man, I got stuck with Travis Studebaker. He played like trash last season. Barely got me 10 points. All the gym bros are very excited.
as is peanut butter. They're all talking about their drafts and shit. Clearly, I'm not a big fantasy football fan. I'm not a football fan in general. Kelly says I love football. I kind of had a feeling you did. I don't know why I thought that. Are you a Packers fan? I feel like that's what you are. Sarah says we legitimately had someone in town DIY a flamethrower a couple years ago when we got seven feet in two days. Please tell me how they DIY'd a flamethrower. And did the cops come? That's, I mean, it's like innovative and kind of genius, but also like very terrifying. It depends on what kind of neighbor this was. You know, was this like the crazy cat lady or was it like the town mechanic? Because very different reactions depending on who's behind the DIY flamethrower. Spike says, God, no. Are you saying God no to the DIY flamethrower or God no to fantasy football? <laughs> Either one is appropriate. I even, I even tried to get into fantasy football. Like I was in a league and I read a book about it because like I had guy friends that were into it and I knew peanut butter was into it. So it's like, oh, let me make an actual effort to like, Try to get into this hobby that like everyone else seems to be obsessed with. And it's just not my, it's just a lot of work for something I, I cannot bring myself to care about. The thing that drives me crazy about not fantasy, but just like football in general it doesn't drive me crazy. I just find it so like hypocritical and entertaining is like when like the serious fans, first of all, they say we like every time they win or lose a game, their team wins or loses a game. They say we, which is like, were you out there? Did, have you been working out good enough to like toss a 50 yard touchdown pass? I'm sorry. I see you sitting on the couch eating potato chips. So that, but then like also how like, how seriously some, it seems like a lot of guys take like their team, like they get, they claim a team somehow. Peanut butter tells me that it, it should be where you grew up or something. And I'm like, well then what if you move? Or like, what if the, the town you grew up in sucked? Like their team sucks. And he's like, no, you have to stick with that one no matter what. Apparently it's like a whole thing. And if you like talk bad about their team, they take it so seriously. And it's hard for me not to mock things that I find dumb, like this. So I have to be very careful around peanut butter during football season, because I just, I want to mock it all so bad. And he really cares. He really does. Honey. Kelly says, of course, being, see, this is what I'm saying. Since, since you're from Wisconsin, you have to like the Packers. That's like the rule, I guess. Like, I tell Peanut Butter sometimes that I, like, whenever Tom Brady's playing, I'm, yeah, I'm like, yeah, I hope he wins. Like, what a fucking winner that guy is. And I root for him and whatever team he's on, which now is Tampa, right? So, like, now... It's funny because Peanut Butter used to like get angry whenever I would root for Tom Brady because I just like winners. That's why I would do it. But he'd be like, he's a piece of shit. I don't even know why. 
I guess he kissed his son on the lips one time. That's not cool. I don't know. But now it's funny because I can go to peanut butter and be like, I'm just supporting my local team. Isn't that what you wanted me to do? Isn't that the rule? Spike says, tough football. God, no. Sane and Striking says, so happy the Pats, Patriots, dropped Cam Newton. Now I can watch them again. What? <laughs> this is the weird-ass loyalty and shit. I just, I'll never understand. What's so bad about old Fig Newton? Does he also um, abuse dogs? <laughs> or beat women? Seems like a lot of these football characters have interesting hobbies, you know, that involve a lot of violence. Piece of lamb, piece of wolf of the year of your man. Sarah says he's this DIY flamethrower guy is an engineering teacher at the college in town. That makes me feel a lot better. But the town was shut down. The town was shut down? Oh, like because of the snow. And even if someone called the cops on him, they wouldn't have been able to get out. Well, thank God he used his powers for good and not evil, you know? That neighborhood Bowser. I'm gonna have to make this petal a little skinnier than the others. I've been trying to, when I fuse, make the pieces more exact before I fuse them. And it's gonna take a little practice for me because it's gonna save a lot of material if I can like get, get a hang of doing that. Hmm. But it gets me into situations like this. Power move, Spike says about the DIY guy. Kelly says, I am also a basketball fan and look forward to being able to go to the games again. Oh, you're a big sports lady. Something in my contact. Can you go to, what's the deal with going to games yet? Is there like a date they're opening them up or is it just like if you're vaccinated, you can go? What's the deal? Sam says, some people also adopt the team their parents like, even though they don't live near that team. I grew up in Arkansas, and they don't have an NFL team. Every state doesn't have one? I thought every state had to have one. <laughs> I thought that was like a law. To be a state, you had to have a football team. But for college, oh, so the Arizona Cardinals are acceptable. Are they not football? But college football is the Arkansas Razorbacks. Razorbacks sounds like a, a badass mascot. I also, I like to make fun of the stupid mascots, which Kelly knows. The Jazz. I don't know what sport they are, but it's a shitty mascot. Tom's the goat, seen in striking, says. Cam's a big baby. Don't get me started about the dogfighter. Sam says, I love baseball more than a football but the Diamondbacks are sucking hard this year, so I'm kind of ignoring them. Baseball has to be the most boring thing I've ever seen. I might take golf over baseball. I've attended a few baseball games, mostly for like work events, because work would like throw like a, like get a box or whatever and have like free drinks and alcohol or drinks and food, which is like the only reason I would ever be there. And... God, Sam, it is so boring. I don't know how you like that. Kelly says, for college football, I'm a Gophers fan and a Badgers fan second. 
I can't even like begin to comment on college football. I, it's enough for me to talk about the NFL, but like a layer down, nah. Sambi says, spoiler alert, there's glass in your contact, safety glasses. Nah, that's good. I haven't had a, a glass eye incident in a long time, like years. Probably a lot to do with luck rather than like s protection on my part because I never wear safety glasses, which I know disappoints safety Sam. Um, that needs to come in. That's what these are for. Sam, I do have the, I do have shields over my grinder. So actually I'm not really being unsafe here because I don't really know how a piece of glass could get into my eye from what I'm doing right now. It would be very difficult. No bet off. I'm go get off. I just I like about Tom Brady is that like he clearly was like really good like didn't the Patriots win like all the Super Bowls like because of him and people were like hating on a winner like people do because people are shitty and don't like to admit that like someone is really great at something and everyone's like oh it's just because like of the coach or whatever right or like it's just because of the rest of the team and then he moved to Tampa and was like suck it I'm still number one and then like how do you deny that the guy's just good I just like someone being really good at things that's that's what I like Go get a. Belichick, right? Who was behind the ball deflating, though? Brady have anything to do with that, or is that just the Belichick guy? Because you. I don't support cheaters. I don't support that. But it seems like it's his talent that's been causing him to win. We have to we have to make it a little bit lower. Kelly says, so far I haven't heard about restrictions for NBA games. Agreed about, oh, you just were excited to go to them because it hasn't been basketball season. Makes sense. Agreed about baseball being boring, but my mom loves it. Well, yeah, an old person. Oh my gosh, I'm calling, I shouldn't call people old. But if she were to be old, um, it would make sense because old people like boring things. And Sam. All the old people and Sam are into baseball. Razorbacks are wild hogs. They can be mean as hell. I was thinking of the dragon from Harry Potter. Wait, that's a Ridgeback. A Norwegian Ridgeback. Never mind. It's not as badass a mascot as I thought. Now that I know it's just a pig. 
I played softball in high school, and it's similar enough that I understand almost everything that happens, so I can keep up. That makes sense. If you played it yourself, I totally get how you could be into, into it. That, that adds up. Checks out. Down, down, ticky, down, down, ticky. Down, down, ticky, da, down, down, ticky. Down, down, ticky, da, down, down, ticky. Down, down, ticky, da, down, down, ticky. Like, I love watching tennis. I could watch tennis all day. I don't know about any of, like, the players. Like, I know Djokovic and Federer or whatever are, like, good, apparently. I don't know. I don't care about the players. I just like to watch good tennis. Because I used to play tennis. But when people are like, oh, it's so boring. I'm like, yeah, I get that. I totally get how it could be boring to someone who never played it. Like, just watching a ball go back and forth across the net. I get it. My life with you. My mom and I went to the US Open one time. Is that one time or did we go twice? I think it was just the one time. Maybe, no, maybe it was twice. I think we saw Djokovic. Djokovic. Sure. Spike says, I assumed a razorback was a type of snake. I would have assumed a lizard. I mean, obviously, because I thought it was a dragon. Oh, the diamondback, Sam says. That's a rattlesnake. Fuck off, Jackie. Whoa. Baseball can be very exciting. I took it back, Sam. I said, since you played, I, I get it. You don't have to be mad. Saint in Striking says, I'm the old people she's talking about. Baseball fan. Kelly says tennis is way more interesting than baseball. Agreed. It just moves fat. Like, like I also like tennis because there's no long breaks. Like, it feels like there's, like, always, like, downtime in baseball and in football, which is another reason I am really not entertained by football because it seems like they're always on timeout. Like, what, what are you doing? The game, the game itself is like 40 minutes, but the, the event goes on for like five hours. Drives me crazy. That clock stops every 10 seconds, it seems. And like tennis, it's just, it's going the whole time. Make it all so clear. Hockey is supposed to be a really entertaining game because they like get in fights all the time. That's interesting. I would I would go to a hockey game. I would like to see that one day maybe. You're a boy tonight. I hope he is a gentleman. Maybe you won't find out, but I know You were the last good thing about this part of town Another millennial anthem My playlist is full of them Sam says tennis is boring. Sorry, y'all. Have you ever played, Sam? Maybe you need to play. Just like I need to play baseball to truly appreciate the sport. My mom says we went twice. I'm having a hard time remembering one of the times. Sam B says, I have a hard time watching sports that are constant action, like basketball. There's no safe time for me to look away. That's the point. That's the point of something entertaining. You shouldn't want to look away. Do you like your movies with commercial breaks, Sam? 
do you go to the theater and like go back after the movie to the ticket desk and complain and be like, I couldn't look away. <laughs> there was no break. I should be him. Sam says, I need structured breaks in action like a toddler. Spike says, hockey is definitely the best sport to watch, in my opinion. I've seen it on TV, and I'm, I haven't been impressed, but I'm wondering if maybe being there in person is different. Because definitely, for sure, being somewhere in person is always going to be, like, way more exciting and more entertaining, you know? But I would rather watch hockey than baseball, for sure. About this part of town, boy, tonight. Sambi also needs nap time. Oh, Sam, wait until you're my age. Wait until you're a grandma. Then you'll know. You'll feel the real need for a nap time. Guys, Peanut Butter and I set a new record last night of early bedtime. 6.45 p.m. in bed. I was asleep by 7.15. Peanut Butter stayed up reading Harry Potter to a normal time. I was asleep by 7.15. Few things as I age and become a septuagenarian. Few things make me happier than going to bed really early <laughs> and getting up really early. I looked at peanut butter and I was like, what is it gonna be when I'm 60? How early will, I will have to be in bed by like 2 p.m. If I'm already liking being asleep by seven, like just do the math. Like I'm gonna have to be in bed by 2 p.m when I'm 60. Losing. I, and some guy at the gym, I was talking to some guy at the gym this morning and he was like, oh, do you do anything fun for Labor Day? And I was like, no, nothing at all. And he's like, what? You didn't like go out or either the beach or anything? And I was like, no, nah, I haven't done anything social in a few years now. Everyone was like talking about their either their fantasy draft or their like Labor Day fun. Should be making your enemy. I think this is Beyonce's sister. Yeah. Do you guys know that? She has a sister that sings. Imagine dealing with that. Like, you know how, like, little siblings can feel, like, overshadowed by their, their older brother or sister or whatever? Imagine that. You're the truth, boy, am I? Triceratops says, hey, I played hockey for 14 years, so I'm not biased at all, and I can say hockey is the best. God damn. Were you in, like, you must have played in college, or were you in, like, a, a professional league? Were you in the NHL? Is there an NHL for women? There must be. Also, yeah, you're a woman. Okay. <laughs> Sometimes I assume people's genders, and I'm not right, but if your name is Sarah, I think that's a safe assumption. Unless you identify as a man, which in that that's fine and I'm sorry if I offended you uh, 
Uh, Spike says, I like sports where it's hard to score, where you got to work for that one point. So basketball, basketball drives me insane. I, I kind of like watching basketball. Again, I would never put on a sport. Like, if I was alone, I would never waste my time watching any sport because, like, why would I do that when I could be doing something productive with my life? But, like, Peanut Butter has basketball on, and I'll watch it just to be near him sometimes. And I don't mind basketball so much. I like the constant action. And I feel like it's also it's impressive. Like, when I watch someone do something athletic, like, basketball has, like, some athletic moves that I can appreciate. Whereas, like, football, it's hard to, I don't know, I feel like they're so, like, padded up. They just look like little, and the, we're at such a far distance. They just look like little meatballs running around and bumping into each other. But, like, basketball, like, you can see the athleticism much more, like, up close, and it's, like, more impressive. It's how I feel. But I do get what you're saying, where the points almost seem, like, meaningless. Tell me the truth, boy, am I losing you for good? Spike says it's so much fun watching hockey live, especially the fights. Yeah, the fights are supposed to be like the, the big draw for hockey. Sam says, I get distracted easily, so I miss things. From you. But that one night was more than just right. Sam says, no, I don't take naps. I was talking about how toddlers need structure and breaks for naps. Oh, I was just assuming, since you were comparing yourself to one, that you also included the naps. Kelly calls it ridiculous that I have a 6.45 p.m. bedtime time. Not ridiculous at all. It does feel a little weird going to sleep when the sun is, like, fully out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what Kelly says. You shouldn't go to bed when it's laid out. But I do get up when it's dark out, so it, it like... At least it's balanced. Like, it's not like I'm going to bed at 7 and then sleeping until 7 a.m. You know? Sam says I can't nap. It's a weird quirk. I can nap, but I always wake up from my naps feeling worse than when I started it. Like, I purposely don't let myself nap because I never wake up from them feeling good. Spike says, you definitely belong in Florida with the old crowd. I know. I'm sh fitting in shockingly well. I was a normal, cool, young person who enjoyed social activities when I moved here. And now look at me. I'm a geriatric. Being Beyonce's younger sibling would suck in a lot of ways. But look at Eddie Murphy's brother. I think I did know he had a brother. I've forgotten, but I did know. Oh, hi, Odin, by the way. Thank you for joining. What is he, do? is Eddie Murphy's brother also a comedian or an actor? Oh, Odin says, I don't know that he is younger and his name is escaping me, but he had that whole bit on Chappelle's show. He made a whole career almost off of being his brother and hung out with Rick James. Charlie Murphy. Interesting. I mean, on the one hand, it's a huge perk because like I'm assuming the siblings of Eddie Murphy and Beyonce are automatically like millionaires. Like their whole family is set for life. I'm assuming. So like there's that, but then at the same time, it's like the price you pay for that is that you're always going to be overshadowed. Sam says to Odin, I did not understand anything you said. I know one of those people, you know who Eddie Murphy is. Do you not know who Chappelle is, Sam B? The Chappelle Show? Girl, I think it might be on Netflix. I'm Rick James, bitch. Peanut Butter and I just um, watched all that, not all of it, most of it on, because it was, it appeared on Netflix like a couple months ago. We were like, what? So we watched it. I'd never seen like all of it. I respect Chappelle. I listen to a lot of uh, podcasts by stand-up comedians, and I've heard like interviews with him several times, and he just seems like a legit guy. I'm so dead. It's 
Sarah says there isn't an NHL for women, and I started really young and played all through high school. My college didn't have a team, so now... Oh, you ref for little kids? Do you encourage them to fight? You should. Prepare them for the real world. That's cool, though. It's cool to um, do anything for that long, because you're probably really good at it. I just feel like building up a skill to an impressive level, like kind of no matter what it is, is a, an impressive thing. Odin says, what time do you get up? Usually like between four and five. I try. I had a lazy day today. I slept till 5.30. Kelly says, I go to bed between 9.30 and 10.30, get up at five. So Kelly, I don't think you're getting enough sleep. Sleep is very important. I've read a couple books on it that changed my mind. Like I used to think it was okay to just get like six hours some nights or less, like if you had to. But the, the research on it shows like it's, it's very bad if you're not getting enough. Spike says, I'm about to be 30. So I guess my bedtime is now 8 p.m. <laughs> That's the way it works. Starting at 30, it's 8, or in my case, 645. And then every year, it has to go back an hour. That's going to be my approach. Sarah has to head out. Thanks for all the glass tips. I'll have to check out the bullseye showroom and let you guys know what I find. Thank you for stopping by. Go have a wonderful glassy day. See you next time. Odin says, I just saw the piece you did of that tiger guy. <laughs> Joe Exotic. F in red. Hey, thanks, Odin. I was really happy with that piece. Some people gave me shit because they were like, oh, you shouldn't be making a portrait of an animal abuser. But I was like, nah, fuck this. This guy is way too, like, fascinating. Believe it or not, you can make a portrait of someone and not love everything that person does. It's a weird concept that some people can't seem to grasp. Wasn't he up for a pardon from Trump and... Trump was like, nah. That sucks. Because all that guy clearly wanted was, like, fame. Like, if, you, if anyone saw that Netflix documentary on him, that was clearly the thing that drove his whole life. Like, he just wanted people to look at him and notice him and maybe like him. I don't think he cared so much if they liked him or not. He just wanted the attention. And he finally got it. Like, everyone in the world knows his name now. Or, you know, a lot of people. But he can't enjoy any of the fame because he's in prison. I'm sure he's probably the happiest he's ever been, though, because I'm, I'm sure he gets, like, fan mail. And uh, he probably has access to, like, the internet sometimes, so he can probably see all, like, the articles or whatever that came out about him. Sad boys, you call my name, you make my heart sparkle like champagne. You're my machine. Sam says, Eddie Murphy is the one name I, I know, I knew. I don't know who Chappelle is. Seriously? You should watch the Chappelle show sometime, Sam. Odin says, I'm usually in bed between 1 and 3 a.m. and up at 9.30. I miss my 9 to 5.30 sleep schedule, but now I got to close the Domino's. I was going to say that's hella late, but then I remembered you deliver pizzas, so your schedule has to be a little strange. It's over. And your range over. Some people are too concerned with what people should and shouldn't do. Amen to that, brother. Mind your own business. As long as you're not hurting anyone. It's like, I've, I've never understood people who try to control other people. Like, that thought is so alien to me. Like, I can't picture ever, like, caring what another person does. Outside of, like, my family. Because I want them 
to I want the best for them, but like just like random strangers I see on the internet, I could never fathom like giving them any type of should or shouldn't kind of advice, you know? It's so weird that people have like the compulsion to do that. That is a rad thought about him wanting attention and getting it after he's locked up. It's unfortunate, but like I said, he's probably happier than he's ever been. My mom re redeemed Pictionary. Okay. All right. If you haven't been here for a Pictionary round, this is how it works. I'm going to go to a random word generator on the internet. And I'm going to draw it. And the first person that guesses it correctly gets their score and their name put up on our Pictionary leaderboard. Which doesn't really earn you anything in real life, but it means a lot here in the Pixie Glass fam. You're basically a celebrity. So uh, you should really, you should want to win, is my point. Da 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 da. Okay. Ready? I'm ready. Not delayed. Spike restarted. Spike takes this really seriously. Okay, I have the word. It's hard. It's a hard word. Uh. Yeah, someone got it. It's babysitting. Home birth. <laughs> I think CMB got it, right? Split, sitting, squat, pooping, home birth, wrestling, giving birth, falling, boosting, sitting on a baby. I mean, Odin, like, technically got it, but it wasn't quite right. I think it was Sam B. Good job, Sam. And my mom redeemed another one. Another! Okay. I think we've gotten that one before. Um, okay. I'm, I have it on, I'm keeping it on hard. Here we go, ready? I'm a razor blade. So obvious. Sam, you got it again. It was amusement park this time. Was that Sam? Hold on, hold on. Roller coaster, log flume. Sam said amusement part. And then quickly corrected it to park. Kelly said it second.
Good job, Sam. You're holding tight to your title. I think Spike had been, I think Spike was one point behind Sam, but Sam really ran with it today. Mom, are we done? Are you doing another one? I'll wait a minute. Sam says, I needed to make up for my, my absence and put those posers in their place. JK, good game, everybody. Why are you so good, Sam? I, I, I fully believe it's because Sam reads so much. Okay, we're doing another one. I think, like, being so into, like, seeing so many different words all the time really does something for you when it comes to being a Pictionary. This is a weird word. This is a word you don't see very often. I hope I know what this means. Okay, ready? Maybe I don't know what this <laughs> word means because nobody's saying it. Mom, why aren't you guessing? Do you know what this is? I'm going to try a different take. Let me try this one a little bigger for us. Well, let me just make sure nobody's fucking got this yet. Okay, someone's going to get it on this one, I swear.
Okay, I'm going to cheat a little bit and say bye, bye, bye. I'm just going to say bye, bye, bye. My mom got it. It was Lance. <laughs> He's the gay one. And is that not a lance? Am I insane? Is a lance not the thing they use to joust with? <laughs> I have to Google this now. A lance is a long weapon for thrusting, having a wooden shaft and a pointed steel head formerly used by a horseman and charging. Guys, I was not wrong. I was drawing it perfectly. You were all wrong. You had to have me resort to drawing Lance with a purse, which I'm sure he doesn't actually wear. And I'm sorry if that was offensive toward Lance, but I had to, I couldn't think of how else to do it. Mary C gets the purse now. I'm sure he doesn't carry a purse, but you know, and my mom refuses to have her name on the scoreboard, so you don't have to worry about my mom being competition, Sam. I couldn't think of how to make it clear that it was NSYNC. I knew if I could just show you guys it was NSYNC, you would get it, but I, I couldn't think of how to make it. That's why I was trying to draw, like, Justin Timberlake has, like, the curly hair. The Chris guy has, like, the dreadlocks. JC had, like, a bandana. I don't know what the other, I can't think of the other one. And then Lance is like the pretty gay one. It's the best I could do, guys. Have your cake and eat it too. Thank you for um, playing with me. We call it Beetlejuice. Sam says, yes, it is the jousting thing. That is such an odd word. That's what I was counting on you, Sam, because you read all these fantasy novels all the time. I was like, if anyone's going to know a word for that thing. It's going to be Sam. <laughs> you really let me down. <laughs> Spike says, never would have gotten that. Just know JT and Joey. I think someone did say Justin. I did my best. What would other people have drawn? Does anyone else know a better way to have drawn that? Grab a fancy hoe. Because I don't think Lance is like another word for... I was trying to think if, if it's like a word for something else. I don't really think it is, though. You can throw out all my dills. Fun, fun, Odin says. We like to change it up in here every once in a while. Oh. Thank you, Mom, for the donation. <laughs> If we do Pictionary enough, my mom will give me money. <laughs> Thank you. I'll write it down and add it to our, our giveaway counter up top. I think it's going to get us into like the 80%-ish. Wait. You can bake a cake. Cake. Thank you. For the love of cheese, I cannot believe it, Sam says. Uh -uh, I'm hoodie. I'm hoodie. Uh -uh, I'm hoodie, bitch. Hoodie, bitch. Joey, the, <laughs> the fat one. <laughs> Nobody liked. I can't remember which was Joey and which was Chris. Because they were both like the unattractive ones that didn't. Like, didn't appear to have a lot of talent. One of them definitely had dreadlocks and was white. And I don't think that's okay to do anymore. I'm sure he'll be retroactively canceled eventually. I always thought JC was the cute one. Lance was very obviously gay. Justin was like... 
I'm just not and I'm just don't dig his look very much. The JC was pretty good looking. Sam says, I guess broadsword, but not lance. I'm a failure. No, the fact that you know about a broadsword is <laughs> makes you not a failure. That was a very good guess. Odin says, I would have maybe ew, gone with lancing a blister. I probably would have thrown up while trying to draw that. That wouldn't have been an option. But that's a good idea. A little more. Here those voices calling. I must have kicked them out. Made you work for the money today, my mom says. I think Pictionary is fun. I enjoy trying to draw weird words. Have I had to get, I think I had to give up on one. I think there was one that I just couldn't, couldn't get across. But I think it was just one. Have no plans for me. Odin says it's funny because his name is actually Fat One. Fatone. Fatone. I wonder if they all made enough money to like be like caken without any worries now. I don't know. Because I know, didn't they have like a bad manager or whatever that like took a lot of their money? Like Justin is obviously fine. I think JC might obviously be fine. But like Chris and Joey? Like are they kicking back into the mansion or are they working at like Starbucks? Not taking prisoners tonight. Da -da 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 -da. Da 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 da. Late in the morning, I found her first voice was calling. Must have kicked them out. They told me I was. Kelly says, and I just randomly realized I had filter on for chats. No wonder I. I could see, couldn't see swears. Oh, you guys can turn on filters too? I didn't know you guys had that power. I can like ban certain words from being used. Like a lot of streamers do ban swear words. I would never do that because I believe in freedom of speech. But um, I didn't even know you could do that, Kelly. I put the little warning at the beginning of the stream that says this is adult content. And because of that, I no longer feel guilty about like swearing. I should, I should not swear because I think it's a habit stupid people use when they can't find a better word to describe something. They'll use a swear word. And I do it myself a lot. And I'm, I don't like that, I'm trying to be better. But I don't not swear because I'm concerned about like the precious ears of my viewers. Coyote says, do you ever play Cards Against Humanity? Yes, I love that game. My mom and my dad and Peanut Butter and I actually played it a few times and like were like all in tears. Do you remember that game, mom? Played it. It's, it's a really good party game too. But you have to kind of like know who, like know the people you're playing with. Because like if someone's easily offended, shit can get real bad real quick, you know? Like the people you're playing with gotta be like, Cool. Do you like it, Coyote? I'm assuming you like it if you're asking about it. Odin says they probably had a crappy contract and came away with essentially just the networking perks. I see Fat One doing things now and then in entertainment. Oh, do you really? 
I haven't seen the fat one in many a year. But yeah, if he's still doing like kind of shitty gigs, probably assume he didn't make enough to retire on. Or what about 98 Degrees? What are those guys doing? Because they were like just as big as NSYNC for like a while. But then I feel like NSYNC really was the clear, like, the winner. I don't know what, what happened. None of those guys turned out to be like a Justin, right? I guess the famous guy from that was like Jessica Simpson's husband. But he's only famous because he married her, I think. I don't know. I don't really keep up with like the celebrity gossip. Coyote says, any updates on the new earring ideas from two weeks ago? I have them written down. That's the update. <laughs> no guarantee that I will ever actually make any of the ideas that you guys like drop in here and like say I should just because like, not that I don't, I'm not like excited about them, but I just always have like so many ideas in my mind and also like so many things I'm always working on that like I put them on a list, but I can't guarantee I'll ever actually get to them. But actually, Coyote, because I think we were talking about that because I was talking about how like I was trying to think of ways for my audience to be more like male. Because right now I have like 85% of my followers or viewers or whatever are like female. And I would like to try to get that to be more towards 50-50. I was like, I should, I should bring these back. These are like totally male friendly. These are little cacti planter stakes. And I make them in this form and then I do two other types like different kinds of cacti and they've just been sold out on my site for like I don't know like a year because I just like got distracted by other designs but I had a guy actually email me and he was like I really want your cacti are you ever going to make them again and I was like yeah I should <laughs> so coyote what do you think about this for a man would you put this on your desk I mean, maybe it's not like manly, manly, but it's like, it's, it's not a flower, you know? Like, I feel like I could see this on a guy's desk and be like, cool, there's nothing gay about that. Actually, I screwed this one up a little bit this far. We're gonna, um, I'll make this my giveaway piece. Maybe not the next giveaway, because there's a pumpkin I want to give away, but maybe, um, the giveaway after that, because like, if you see the profile of the cactus from the front, see how the top is like curved? The side is a lot more square. And that was totally my fault for, um, I didn't update the pattern to have, I didn't think about it. I shortened the side from the right, not the left. Or reverse, I don't know. My point is, I don't like it. And it's probably something like nobody but me would ever care about or even notice but I don't I don't like that so one of you awesome people will eventually get a slightly square cactus in a giveaway <laughs> coyote says yeah you definitely have to know your audience for cards against humanity yeah my mom confirms I have never laughed so hard Cards Against Humanity is hysterical. Odin says, I gotta get oxygen and tea. It was cool playing Pictionary and seeing the flower come along. Have a wonderful day, everyone. Thank you for stopping by, Odin. Um, I hope you stream again soon. I want to see what else you're working on. Coyote says, you might enjoy Shit Happens, a game where you rank really unfortunate situations. I really enjoy Cards Against Humanity. I have not heard of that one. 
I will write it down though. I'm sure if it's like anything along the lines of that same kind of concept or idea, I would be into it. Oh, my mom says we were also eating the gross jelly beans. Yeah, my mom got, I think that was from you, right? She got like the Birdie Bots flavored jelly beans. Like if you read Harry Potter, they have like these jelly beans in the magic world that come in like every flavor and every flavor means every flavor. So like you can get like vomit or like boogers or like other nasty things, but also good ones like strawberry and watermelon or whatever. And they make them in real life as like a gag gift. And my mom got them and we were eating them. And it was really funny. I don't remember like specifically any really bad flavors we got. <laughs> Do you remember any, mom? I don't know. I remember some were really bad though. Oh, Sam, you're going to Harry Potter world or Harry Potter land. I don't know what the California one is called. Isn't your trip coming up? I'm excited for you. You can't be on your diet that day, Sam. You got to have the butter beer and the Florence, whatever that ice cream shop is called, Florence, Flor, I don't know. You got to go there. You got to have a chocolate frog. You got to have a pumpkin pasty. You got to, you got to try things. Coyote says, cool, I wasn't looking for guarantees, just wondering if anything had happened. It might eventually, Coyote. Eventually. Coyote says, cacti aren't really my thing, but I can see the appeal. Okay, okay. That's good enough for me. Oh. Oh. It's on Amazon, the card game. Cool. Thank you. Games like this are so nice to have if you have like a get together at your house with like your close friends. I feel like they're because it's always like a little awkward. Not often. It's like not as fun in the beginning when everyone's getting there and like no one's started drinking yet and it's still early. I feel like it's a really games like that are really fun to have on hand to like get people talking and like laughing, you know? Thank you. 